with Richard Hoyles. And they're off and racing. Jump away then for the Market Insurance Nassau Stakes and the three-year-old Barefoot Lady is sent on into the early lead. In the noseband, just ahead of field day, midday drops into third place this early stage with Crystal Capella and Snow Fairy racing in fifth and uh, principal role is held up at the rear of the field as they race through the first couple of furlongs. And it's Barefoot Lady cutting out the running for Paul Hannigan, leading by about uh, two lengths from field day in second with a similar break to midday. Who toes up the three big guns, Crystal Capella in the dark blue and yellow, and then the red and yellow of Snow Fairy, and slip the rear of the field is a principal role. Just an even pace being set by Barefoot Lady. In fact, if anything, has just steadied it down a, a touch or two, and Ears Pricked is having a good look around as they climb uphill towards the sixth, field day in second. The steadying pace has resulted in the field compressing slightly. Midday in third is now about uh, three lengths off the lead. Crystal Capella, Snow Fairy, and at the rear of the field is principal role. So Paul Hannigan stacking them up on Barefoot Lady as they begin to turn downhill. Field day in second. Midday pink cap on the outside of Crystal Capella. Snow Fairy yet to make a move. Likewise, principal role. Barefoot Lady and the field now really are compacted. Barefoot Lady still sitting quietly in front. No move yet to increase the pace as they freewheel downhill with field day. Midday on the outside, Crystal Capella, mindful maybe of the stamina, Jimmy Fortune nips up the inside and is the first one to try and press. Barefoot Lady is a bit squeezed with field day. Midday moves to the outside, Snow Fairy shadowing midday's every move. So now it is a dash for home. Field day the outsider, Barefoot Lady battling on. Crystal Capella, the white face, midday poised. Snow Fairy on her girths, but now midday is just shaken up and asked to commit. Snow Fairy comes after her. Crystal Capella is battling on, on the inside. Midday who can lose concentration out in front is still a couple of lengths clear from Snow Fairy and Crystal Capella and it's Midday who's a couple of lengths in advance of Snow Fairy who's trying to rally on the inside but Midday smoothly is going to round off a terrific week for Tom Queenie, Sir Henry Cecil and Khalid Abdullah and win her third Market Insurance Nassau Stakes. Midday beats Snow Fairy and Crystal Capella behind those in fourth principal role Barefoot Lady and Field Day. And they didn't go much pace, and she still did it easily, even more easily than she has done the last two years. Midday, six to four favourite, never too many moments concern for supporters of this admirable, gutsy, tough and versatile mare who's obliged once again and makes it three out of three in the Nassau and six at the top level for the man of the moment, for the mayor.